Welcome to vlog number nine. I can't believe we got here. I'm always thinking, what, which one are we on? Obviously, I don't want to say we have a busy day, but we do have a busy day. I really appreciate all the comments, the likes, the shares. Just wanted to say one thing before we go upstairs. There was a, a big market shift in the fact that Brian Lewis over at Halstead Property went to Compass. He was the top broker at Halstead, so that's, that's a big disruption. I've been saying it for a while. The industry is ripe for disruption. We're gonna go up there. That's why we make the calls. That's why we have the vlog. That's why we do property tours. Talk to you guys soon. Enjoy the episode as the hair goes crazy and it gets a little bit crisper. Yeah, and just to uh, continue on what I was just saying before is that, first of all, getting crisper. Most people are just not looking to do calls or go out and things like that, but now is the time to do them. We're gonna talk a, a little bit more about upstairs. By the way, it's Halloween. Let's see what they're dressed like. Officer, arrest me now. <laughs> do you have... Gym. I saw him at the gym bright and early. And she didn't in the say hi because I didn't see her. So if you see me, but I don't see you. You don't have to say hi. <laughs> you don't have to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is like this is like the, the purgatory time to be in real estate because really nothing happens. So really you're just building up for 2018. Thanksgiving to Christmas. It's like no one's looking. It's too cold. They just want to just go out, watch football. So we just put on a new place and it's actually uh, quite busy to say the least. We're gonna do a little property tour later on. However, there's not much inventory. So if you're looking to buy right now, now is the time to do it. All right, the Bach. Look at him, he's, he's sitting down. Oh, he lost his out. <laughs> he just got scared. I almost actually hit the delete button. The delete, yeah. You guys already know that every single morning we make phone calls, we follow up with people. For myself and for Adam, we hit two different corners of the market. He goes after buyers right now, I'm going after sellers. You know, obviously writing cards. What we've noticed is that they appreciate it. Why? Because there's so much competition within the industry in of itself. So when we differentiate ourselves by giving value and by following up more, we start getting appointments, we start getting clients. So like I said downstairs with Brian Lewis, he's now at Compass, there's gonna be other people jumping ship, either starting their own firms, going to Compass. You know, the traditional route is just, it's just not working anymore, it's broken. I wanna go back to something that we generally talk about, which is the, the power of the follow-up. So Charles actually followed up with a seller this morning who we had an appointment with, then, uh, you know, canceled via email. Charles could have let that go, but instead he decided to send another email saying, are you confusing me with someone else? You know, um, and it turns out the guy was. He was confusing Charles with another Charles. Was very happy to speak to this Charles. Yeah. And uh, everything was fine. So just, you know, following up, not letting something get to you, not interpreting, you know, an email or a text message. I read this yesterday. There's a, a Harvard Business Review article. Highly recommend you check it out. It's called The Human Moment. And through text, anything could be just completely misinterpreted that you think they're yelling or they're angry or whatever. And I called them. I just wanted to, you know, I called him twice actually yesterday and he thought I was this other person who I guess was nagging him. As I was leaving the voicemail, he picked up. So it's all good. It's actually a great place and I, we hope to either represent it or bring one of our buyers there. He's a for sale by owner. You have faith that something is gonna be happening in 2018. We've been telling people you should probably wait to put it on the market for 2018, but if you're buying, now's the time because you don't have a lot of competition. This isn't weird. It's a uncomfortable. Yeah, see, when he gets uncomfortable, he turns red. Yeah, like he's right <laughs> now, he's turning red. That was like me in college when I was presenting to anyone. We're gonna be going up to Adam's new exclusive. There's three ways to get there. You could either take the bus, which is 20 minutes. You can walk, which is 25, or you could take an Uber, which is 18. So transportation in New York City, really. And listen, if I was city biking, that'd probably be the fastest way. You wanna sit in the front if I city bike? Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just have Jojo it. running behind us with the camera? Yeah, exactly. Pan over here, that's soon gonna say BPI instead of Salesforce. This is actually perfect weather for Adam. This is great. Yeah. Look 
looking at the Bank of America Tower near Bryant Park, and I was thinking about it, and I'm looking at this, it's 10 years old, it's beautiful, and I'm, and I'm thinking, I'm like, was I born to just either love real estate, or was I born to be a real estate agent? You know, you, you look at something, and you look at the architecture, young or old, you could appreciate it all, and if you don't like it, you're not gonna be in it for long, because the, the industry isn't that sexy outside of the architecture. I was actually out on Sunday with one of my buyers, and I was talking to her, and I said, before you actually start, there's gonna be something within real estate that you click. Some people say they love countertops, some people say they love bathrooms. For me, it's flooring. I, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I appreciate good flooring. I know how expensive it is. I know how hard it is to upkeep. I know that if it's wear and tear, you have to sand it down, you have to restain it, you have to replace it, and things like that. And sure enough, she's like, you know what I love? The exact same thing you do. Because we walked into a place and it was the original marble from the 1920s when it was a factory floor, which is incredible in my mind. You know, I'm on the, uh, the dating apps. I'm just terrible at the dating apps. So I have to actually talk to people in person, which I would rather do. So I understand their personality and random things of having someone like, what is going on? There's a camera out. And then that's a conversation starter. I don't know what was actually filmed there, but that was, that was a perfect interaction of Charles in the real world, out in the wild. So here we're at 321 East 48th Street. Gonna go see a new listing. So Hank is one of the well-known doormen in this building who does a lot of uh, work years, on the apartments. Bro. 22, 22 years. years, same building. Wow, you've seen everybody come and go. Everybody coming and going, bro. Wow. If there's anything you want to know, Legit. ask, ask yeah. Hank. Like, share, subscribe. We gotta, we gotta drop off. Adam's going uptown, I'm going downtown, JoJo's going home, and all I could say is thank you for all the feedback, and we're gonna leave it right now. If you guys have any questions, charles at botanston.com. If you want anything about that listing, adam at botanston.com. This is our Halloween day, whenever this comes out. We're both dressed as uh, brokers. Yeah, agents. we're not yeah, actually yeah. agents. All right, well listen, enjoy. See you guys on number 10. Yeah. Can't believe we've gotten that far. Have an See awesome day. Week.